Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the E Boys podcast, episode six. Oh, what are you drink? Is that a Dorito? It's yeah, it's a Dorito guava. Brilliant choice they are. I was convinced oh, you said did Dorito. You say, did you say guava? Yes, lad. <laughs> oh my god, look at that! Uh, there's Cheers. a pun in there That's somewhere. Terrible. Um, um I uh, I don't know where I'd guava. Guava. Be. I don't know why I'd rather be than <laughs> listening to this podcast on Spotify. Uh, yeah, oh, right. what? I don't know what the He'd segue was. He'd rather be uh, listening to this episode on Spotify, he said. <laughs> oh, I really would, yeah. Exactly, too right. Very good, very good. Follow us. Can you you follow people on Spotify, right? Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, well, you yeah can follow go on, follow the Spotify. podcast. Do. Follow the podcast on Spotify. So once you watch the podcast here, make sure to go over to Spotify and listen and to it there yeah. as well. Yeah, either or, either of those. I saw we mudded Louis Theroux, um, of all people, Good. and exactly. Island Discs. And, and that's my mom's. That yeah, me, that's my mom's favourite podcast. So it was quite nice yeah, to. Yeah, I was gonna say, dads all over the country in the mud. Yeah, yeah my oh, mum's a big Louis Theroux fan. I mean, that's the thing. That's why people need to listen to us on like people places like Apple and Spotify as well. Because if you listen to us over on there, we can mud all of the rug, great rugby podcasts and also Louis Theroux. Oh, they're, <coughs> they're a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah no, there's gone. no single rugby podcast above us anymore. That's good. Good, the way it should be. I don't think there's been a rugby episode uploaded since... Yeah, fucking... We've destroyed that. Uh, we we got some topics ready for today, and... Uh, Will, this was you, right? <coughs> oh, you alright? What does that mean? What does One that mean? Yeah, what you said? Choking to death. <laughs> is, 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 is your coughing fit a result of whatever this image is? Uh, oh, 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 we're talking about that. Well, yeah, oh, well, I mean, you put it in the dock. I was just, I just thought it was funny whilst we're all fitting it in. I thought I'd sort of show that it? picture. Well, it's a woman lying on a bed, right? And she's she's not got very much on. Well, uh, she's got a decent amount on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she has cling film wrapped around where her bum is. And she also has a funnel <laughs> and a cone coming out of her ass into a tube, right? And then there's a man next to her. Oh, fucking hell. Um... I was against us talk, but it's well, why did you back. put it in? It's it's it always it's finds its way in also, somehow. He's also strapped in in cling film, and the tube coming from her ass is going into his mouth. And I, I decided to put that in the Google Doc topics, saying how I was trying to be, and um, but I didn't realise we we're actually gonna good. So you go home for a weekend, and this is what you come back with. No, no, no! I just fucking tweeted out for topics, and that's what I was provided oh. with. Them. Oh, right, right. oh, oh wait, so, so you're blaming the fucking... audience? Yeah, let's yeah. blame them. Mm. They're easy to blame, to be honest. Right. Well, George, you had some homework from um last week. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. All right, George has guilty pleasure. Because I've been abused all week about my guilty pleasure by people online. Yeah, no, and I've decided I can't do this publicly. Because I, I don't even show my fucking face publicly. Oh, oh no. well, you said you came up with it. What, you've came up with the fa- I had. Bro, everyone go and dislike George's new video until he says <laughs> <Shut> fucking... <up. laughs> I can't believe that. What the fuck, man? That's so shit. So, because all, if anything... Also, my anything, fucking parents if, listen if anything, to this. Because nobody knows who you are. Right, right. When me will and parents do, and they public, listen to this, yeah. Oh, so do ours. No, I, I have, I have a point to make. I don't think your parents listen to it. It was just you mentioned hentai in your story, and I reckon they saw that. Maybe so, but do you want to explain the story of uh, how of, of your mum and hentai? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, I posted on my story like uh, the podcast, and I put it as. Uh, New podcast, James admits his love for hentai or something along them lines. <coughs> and uh, my mum, being the innocent woman she is, did not know what hentai is. Uh, well, she does now. Uh, she Googled it. <laughs> and then she texted me to inform me uh, about her findings. Why would she text you that? I don't know. Thanks for the tip, son. Just had a great strum to this new <laughs> category. <laughs> <laughs> Just whapped myself silly. No. <laughs> oh, no. God. Hello, George's mum, if you're listening to this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. Good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. So, yeah, what's your guilty pleasure, George? Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a shit excuse. you got to say it. <laughs> Sending his mum, actually, unironically, all of the porn he listens to. <laughs> after you to uh, so, it, basically, I share my back. porn folder with my mum. That's... <laughs> Just a little Google Drive. What he's not telling you is he sent he, he sent it to her and went, "Do you reckon this would be a great title?" Question mark. Mister Ramp just googled it. Mister Ramp got back. 
George, I will start some horrific rumours about oh, you. Oh, go on, start you... horrific rumours. I don't care. Come on, man. We Look, we've we've done... Will's a little droid. Mm. I've admitted that hentai is good for the story. Alex... What's Alex? It's Alex. I've and, and bottle, you need bottles and I'm currently need... eating an egg and mayo you, sandwich. You had a yeah. full week to come up with it and you've come with... Oh, well, I don't show my face, so I can't say this. The worst part is, That's before it. the podcast That's the whole went, thing. He said he had it, didn't he? He said he had it before the podcast. Yeah. So we know it's, it's in his there. head. Yeah, but I was drunk. I had drunk confidence. It just needs to be beaten I, I out told. of him. Yeah, go on, try. George, this is infuriating. Say it. No. Mate, nobody knows who you are. You never have to deal with a... Sa- like, when we when Will walks oh, in the street, people, sh- takes over again. People, people shout at Will. <laughs> yeah. What? No, yeah, Will's don't. had people in the streets go beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this weekend? <laughs> no, you didn't. I was just trying to have a fucking pint in me local. And uh, I went, yeah, I went up to the bar. And she was like, beep, boop, boop, boop. No, she didn't. Do you want to do that again? You she didn't did, do it with enough. Beep. You didn't do it with beep, enough. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh, wait. Go on. No, oh, here we go. No, no, no more no more funny effects. That's <laughs> not funny. You're so, right. George, for the record, you're flat out refusing the entertainment. Correct. That's shit, man. That should be fucking forfeit worthy or something. Like, I think you should take on two, organize the next two videos for not uh, coming up with a guilty pleasure because you're no. not pulling your weight on the podcast, so you should pull it in other ways. Yeah, no. 100% agree. No. You know what I mean? Or drop the share percentage. No. Of, you know, of no, your I'm 50% not dropping my boys, you know. I'm not dropping my share. You can't, I'm sorry. You c- For the future of this podcast, you can't say you're going to do something and not yeah. do it. That's infuriating. That's shocking. That's shocking. It's like I'm almost at climax and the oh, story oh. wasn't good enough. So I, I can't. I mean, oh, no, that's James's shows. guilty pleasure. Huh? Nothing. Don't Alex hasn't done his either. Yes, I did, man. We talked about I. We talked about I pissed on bottles on podcasts. Like, yeah, but that's not a guilty pleasure. That's not a real one. Alex, you can probably come up with something right now that's that's a guilty pleasure, right? Why the fuck would I do that? Okay, you don't have to. You lot, man. Do you know what? Actually, Alex, I want to scrap you this week. Um, Why? Fucking the green screen photos. So I had loads of photos, and there was <sighs> one. I decided, right, to pop out of the door with no clothes on. And there's a picture of this where my belly looks like fucking molten cheese, right? And I've got one nipple. I thought, all right, you know what? I'm not even have to say. Don't post that on Instagram. Alex fucking leads with that one. It's the first slide. I'll tell you why. It was fucking the only one, it was the only one that would download in high definition. That's some oh, bullshit. No, bullshit. genuinely. I was You're... having so many troubles with, with compression. That's the only oh, one so I could I'll get in HD. Fuck... <laughs> right, let you me see it. I, I don't, don't even have to say don't post this one, obviously, because no one would have that fucking little humanity. Is it and, video? Uh, yeah, but not in that, you know, in that fucking <laughs> in that yeah. definition. Not, not in that focus. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, James just kind of looked at it, Annie. Will, you have the body of a 70-year-old in this photo. It's so funny. Oh, that's horrible. I didn't caption it, look at Will, look how, <laughs> right. look how bad right. he looks. Did I? It's me. Well, well, no, I it's thought, just because I picked it you don't I actually look like stunning. that. stunning. I remember yep. thinking when you got to your clothes off, I was like, well, he's not doing badly. But that is a bad photo. That is a bad photo. Oh, my dog. God, James. That's horrible. That's a bad photo. I'm not, I'm not insulting Will physically. He's got a lovely no, no, body. No, no. But, but when I said you look photo. like you can play rugby, there was hell on. Yeah, <laughs> true. Eh? Yeah. I mean, I can I can barely Double talk. Style. I'm like a fucking Wookie under the clothes. So so. Uh. Oh, show us your chest, yeah. I'm not showing yeah, you my chest. The chest <laughs> that's, not, I, yeah, that's not something I'm doing on, on the fucking podcast. <laughs> Could you just show me it? Pro- next topic. What's the next topic? Wait, did I did I hear George egging me on there to show my chest hair? Yeah, I didn't George, say a mate. word. Good. It was George, mate. I don't want to hear anything from you. All right. Nothing. You can't tell me to do <laughs> George anything. Just sits there the... George, you got the easy job now, mate. What? Just sit here in silence. You don't have to say anything. Yeah, good. I'll take my twenty-five percent and sit here in silence. That's fine. <laughs> That's what you're doing anyway. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carry on. All right. All right so George uh, wanted to talk about paranormal experiences today. Uh, yeah, go on. Or do you? Or do you not want to reveal too much about yourself, George? <laughs> Yeah, you don't know what you may have had one in a house or a, or a building or potentially a school he went to. <laughs> George maybe really exists. George is paranormal. He exists within the lines of reality. Come on. Right, what's a paranormal experience? Par- par- George, George has paranormal experiences. I don't have any. George led with, oh no, I've got some. I'll talk about them. Come on. Oh. Is he actually gone? He's he not gone? up. He you told me to off. be quiet, so I'm... I'm, I'm oh, I thought you'd, I thought oh, you'd addressed go. again. Okay, I can lead. Okay. So I used to live 
in a very scary house called the Omnia House. Very famous. George, please take over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, George, come on, come on. Go on. No, I'm kidding, Alex. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. Okay. All right. Basically, I lived with, at the time, this is embarrassing that I'm going to have to count this, uh, Scott, uh, Danny, Billy, Arlene, so four other people. Now, nobody ever left that house, ever, right? Like, everybody, because we're lazy as fuck, like, nobody would ever go anywhere. So there was always at least two other people in the house, minimum. Normally three. Maybe one person would leave at a time. I just remember once, I was downstairs, and I could just hear people running up and down the stairs. And I was like, nobody in my house runs. And I was so fucking confused. It was a big fucking house. Will's been, George's been. Mm, and, and I remember shouting, being like, oh, like, can you like keep it down or whatever? Didn't get any of response back. So then I went upstairs. Um, I went onto the first floor, which is where Danny and Erling was. And um, there was just nobody on that floor. I was so very you know confused. Did someone ran down the stairs and then you missed them? Oh, mate. Then I went upstairs again, and Scott wasn't in. And I texted him, and they said that they'd been out since about 11 a.m. I was the only person in the house for the entire day. I could hear people running up and down the stairs consistently all fucking day. It's a, and it was a detached house, man. It wasn't connected to anything. Uh, detached, and that means that's it. Ghost confirmed. A ghost must have been in there. Well, I don't think anybody else would be running around... That shithole. No, there was like just a fucking massive field surrounding this house. Like it was. There was a what? Yeah, like there's not. There's no way you could hear like anything from anywhere else because it was just like a desolate wasteland all around this house. Yeah, it generally was. There was such a mm. tip in the front garden. Mate, I was terrified after that. I hated living there. Did you believe in ghosts beforehand? I'm not. I've never really like um ruled you out. I guess because right. I don't really know, but. I'm leaning more towards that they don't exist for my own sanity. I just think it's bollocks. Yeah, no. See, I'm I'm of that mindset as well, which is why this will make for a very interesting discussion. Uh, mm. But I, I, I think that if you are someone who believes in par- paranormal experiences in ghosts, they happen to you because you're, you're open to them. You're looking for them. Yeah. No, I yeah. seriously was sat downstairs watching TV... And I was like, and I was like, and I was like, what and the fuck is? Started sucking my cock. No, no. I was. It was not one of those stories. It was generally What's like. What's this ghost? Do you want to do a Blaze Q and A? I was a ghost in that video. Mm. That's such that a classic. Ghost got a fat doobie. Oh my god! Yeah, that was fucking terrifying, man. I was. I don't believe so. Not particularly, anyway. But if they were ghosts, right? Like, why why would you only hear them run up the stairs? And maybe when they got to the landing, why do their footsteps just stop sounding? Why is it just the stairs? Um, well, that's the thing. I went up the first set of stairs, and then I heard somebody go up the second set of stairs. So then I was like, oh, well, there's nobody on this floor. They must have gone upstairs again. So I thought it was just Scott. So they're a ghost that exists purely to go upstairs. That's can all I, they do. Can I just say, <laughs> Alex... You would be the first person to die in a horror movie. The fact that you heard a noise and you followed it not once but twice, you're the one who dies first. My bedroom was upstairs, man. Oh, okay. Like, I had to go up there eventually. Like, right, it wasn't, okay. I, I would not have followed the. And I, I don't know what you do if you ever get in those situations, but I always uh, just, like, almost start talking as if somebody's there. Because then my second thought instantly yeah. was, oh, there's somebody going to rob the house. Because it was a big fucking house and anybody who paid attention would have known that it's just a bunch of fucking losers oh, yeah. living Could there. Could have nicked some fucking mouldy cutlery or, you know, some rusty drainage pipes. Or an Apple Mac or something of those lines, maybe. Or a, or a nice microphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they can make commentary videos. Sell it at CEX in Durham. It was possible. CEX in Durham. <laughs> Somebody could have easily done it. I get, I get the speaking out loud thing because something I do, this is going to completely discount the fact that I don't believe in paranormal experiences. Mm. But whenever I'm like in an argument with someone and I I'm I think they I, I always tell myself there is a chance they might be able to read my mind. So I always say to myself whenever I'm you're in that kind of scenario to. fucking Edward Cullen. I, I always say to myself, <laughs> I know you're listening to me. I know you can hear this in my <laughs> head. Fucking <laughs> terrifying. Why? Why? Just in case, what mate, the because then the, because then that would really phase them out, wouldn't it? If they were just like, 
You're so competitive when it comes to arguments. You're even thinking in your head, this slight chance you can read what I'm thinking. <laughs> Fuck you. I uh, also know that I've got that base covered too. Yeah, but that's a mental win, isn't it? Because if they imagine if you can read minds and you hear someone say to themselves, I know you can hear me. You're so and, and it's just like, they'd be like, yeah, what the fuck? But surely they would hear you think, oh, maybe they can hear what I think. I know, I'll think, no. I know what I'll think, I'll think. See, I know, you know what I mean? They might be able to hear the whole monologue. I've thought of this so many times now that it it's comes. become just a thing I do. <laughs> That's the so most I, you so thing I've ever I don't fucking think heard. I'm gonna do the thing. I think, you can hear me, can't you? Yeah. And then and then one day I'm gonna catch someone out who's got mind reading abilities and they're gonna be like- Some fucking vampire. Yeah. So there you go. That's funny as fuck. I'm not but if you believe in ghosts, you're a moron, all right? That's, the, that's where I'm going with that. I have a story. Mm -hmm. Hey, fucking steady on, just in case it's a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to tell my story? Yeah, yes, yes, go, 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 go. Don't let him discourage you. That's what he'll try right. and do. Uh, when I was younger, um, we had like... Uh, do, you, do you guys ever have like one of them climbing frames that had like a tent on top with a little like... Yeah. Have like a little plastic window, right? Yeah. Wait, it was what? like you know, like a, one of them climbing frames. You climb up. There was a little tent, and then there was a slide. Yeah. And uh, in this one, in my one, there was a little plastic window, and it was like, um, like you could see through one of the doors when you climb up to the back window. The window was like on the back. So if someone were to stand behind the climbing frame, oh, this is terrifying. In the window, I could see it from like the living room. So one day, I'm just vibing. And I look outside, and it looks like there's a man, like behind the um, like the plastic window, but there's like no body or no legs underneath. And I'm like, what? What is this? Uh, so I'm too scared to go out and investigate because I was I was like, what? Probably like nine or ten. I leave it. It stays there for like weeks, like just this imprint of a man's face on the climbing frame, like window. Do you reckon it could have been like maybe your dad went out there at some point? Someone's been getting someone's been getting railed against it, and their face has just been like left as an imprint. <laughs> it has to be fucking tall. Like it was actually just. It was like an old have, man as well. George, I, I had to break to you. You never had a climbing frame. That was your dad's sex swing. They just put it out in the garden. It was way oh, easier. Oh God, George, oh. your parents have got it rough this week. This <laughs> yeah, episode. They, they click and not off. like that. Not like that. No, they, no, that's every week. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, we said it was going to be a shorter episode today It's just going to be an episode about me George, I'm sorry, you're probably mortified <laughs> I was going to say That's that like <laughs> George, do you, do you think it might have been like did, Had like an ancestor died? No Because you told me You told me that When you can, Do you want to talk about this? I think you might know where I'm about to go with this no, When no. passed if away <laughs> If I don't want to talk about it, we can cut it out. Okay. You you said that um you always get a feeling when it's the last time you're going to see someone, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, my God. I do, and it's always right. <laughs> You've never had that with me, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> you're not fucking... I, unfortunately. <laughs> you get, fuck it, get it with you, and you'd be like, fucking come on! <laughs> yes! No, genuinely, I do get that. Like, when, when like, it would give... There'd be, like, no reason for me to feel like that, but then I, like... I know when it's going to be the last time I see someone. Fuck Do you reckon hell. if it ever happens with like, another one of us in the group, can you tell the other two e-boys when it happens? All right. Yeah, so we can prepare for the cut. Well, you just put place bets on my death. Yeah. Prepare the tribute videos in advance. Have you ever, have you ever had that and just gone to somebody? Have you um thought of writing a will recently? Yeah, you feel all right <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. And they go, no, not really. And you go, and you go, maybe you get on that. <laughs> I've always, I, when when I was younger, and uh, the reason I asked about the face on the um the the slide or whatever it was, um, is because when I was younger, one of my, I think my great grandfather died, and then whenever I had a shower, this is gonna, I mean, great, make a joke. He <laughs> <laughs> was right where he used to be when he was alive. No, I always used to, the pressure. We always of, used to share them. Okay, okay, great. The pressure of the water on my shoulder. Would always feel like like a hand, like a soft embrace. No, oh, it would feel no. like a, like a firm, like reassuring hand. You know what I mean? On my cock when I was like six years old. <laughs> so no, I but like I kind of would would make moments in my head where I'd feel like he was still there. That's what I'm trying to say. 
right, naked in, in the, the shower. shower. With his hand on your back. Mate, I was six years old or some shit. You can't. You can't. That's horrific, James. <laughs> Joe Relay. It's a weird segue just to say you shared uh, showers with your great granddad. I've never sh- shared a shower. You shower really shoe on that one in. Who was the last person you shared a shower with? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but with this uh, client frame thing, um, I've kind of just rationed out. Like now at my big old 22 self, 22 year old self, I'm like, that probably wasn't a ghost. It was probably like. I don't know, like... It might have just been, like, a mark on the window, or... Yeah, so, you know, it was great granddad peeking in your window. Yeah, it, it was yeah. details. It looked detailed, but it was it, it was likely just, Was like, the face moving, or was it just, like... It was static. St- static. Hmm. Could it easily be, like, condensation yeah. on the yeah. window? It was the summer. So oh, it's, it's a ghost, then. Yeah, 100%. That's it's it. A ghost. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't condensation. It was, like, it was like dust. It was, like, dust and stuff. Ghosts will only really come out in the summer. Because but it looked like... really realistic, and it really scared me. That I can imagine definitely being a kid and seeing that must have been absolutely terrifying. Because yeah. mm. even that, like, that's quite like jarring for me to hear. I just be like, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah, yeah. This wasn't an episode to do in the dark, really. Well, you got any? Uh, no, because I don't believe in it at all. Boring. That's, I'm not like not sharing. No, have I'm not boring. Had, like, I'm just boring. being honest. Have you had any kind of like s- self reflections with death and kind of like interactions with the idea of death, like me? No. Interesting. I'm just chilling. Okay. You ever thought about killing someone? Just you on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for many reasons. Fucking hell. What's next, boys? Oh, that picture in the oh, Google Doc is really throwing me off. <laughs> yeah, no, every time I look at the Google Doc and the topics, I'm like, oh, okay. That's it's gone oh, it's now. gone. Well, who's got oh, rid of Bum oh, Fuck Funnel? I just fucking got rid of it. I got rid of it. Oh, it's gone. I'm getting rid of that. Weirdest fan interactions. Yeah, I thought I'd put... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think someone on Twitter asked for the weirdest fan interactions. Can I read oh. out what you've written there? Well, James Will definitely been... has one. I'm just, I think he's unsure whether he wants to say it or oh, not. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I just uh, Yours is written down as being jumped on in brackets sweat. So I definitely want to hear that one first. <laughs> okay. The sweat is different. Sweat is not the same as being jumped on. For the record. Okay. I just, I, I have a big problem with fan interactions because I, I find it very stressful because I'm like, I've got to talk to, to a lot the of people. The general public. No, it's just like, the I've got pops. to talk to a lot of people and it's on me to start the conversations a lot of the time. It's terrifying, isn't it? I'm not very good at doing that. So I always get like stressed out. I get really in my head for a good hour before it starts. And when I'm stressed and I, I, I'm like, uh, I, I like sweat. And then, like, when I'm sweating, I'm like, oh, God, I'm fucking gross. I'm disgusting. It stresses me out more. And by the time I go out to do the fucking fan interaction, I'm just, like, moist. Yeah. Not in that way. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean? It's just, like, it's <laughs> just... I just feel, Jesus. like, really uncomfortable a lot of the time. But, like, I love I love meeting people. Don't get me wrong. That's not why I'd feel uncomfortable. But it's just, like, a very stressful thing for me to start conversations. So I find that difficult. I might say something that might resonate with a lot of people here. Um, it's always the first handshake. I can't do it. I can't. I can't well, do you greet like people. Go for the, I never tap know. Someone up and they go for a spud, or you go to like every time, man. It, whatever a combination I choose, yeah. just imagine that the other person has somehow got it wrong. Mm. That is basically every single meeting greet I've ever done has just been like you're smashing a bunch of buttons on a PlayStation and then none of them are working. You're gonna say something else yeah. there. Yeah. But, no. uh, that's, that's smashing hell. a bunch of subs and then. <laughs> Just oh, smash it all yourself. I think that's one of the silver linings to uh, the Rona because we know where we stand now. We can't shake hands. We just fist bump everyone. Yeah, or the elbow. I'm, like, I'm a big fan of the elbow. Or the elbow. It's it's a 50-50 now instead of, like, a, a one in six. Yeah, you're not, or, or a one in 12. Some people <laughs> turn up with some crazy shit. Yeah, fucking hell. I think the worst one I ever had was... Actually, you might have been there, James. There was this. Um, was it me? Is that what you were trying Cavill's to say? Turned up. No, it was this guy on a Segway, um, who basically wouldn't stop running me over. Oh and yeah! Just, and yeah. he just kept on running me over on a Segway. And he kept calling me mim- memeless. Yeah, and then he started punching me and saying like, "I oh, wish I have a boxing match." So I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Who was that? that? Who ran you over the Segway? I don't know. It was a fan. It was very weird. He was just on a Segway, and he wouldn't stop driving it into my foot. And I was like, mate, what are you doing? And I was like, do you want a picture? He's like, no, of course I do. I was like, all right, he's one of those guys. 
We had someone at the uh, at the tour, one of the meet and greets there, came in like a full army outfit and was like, oh, I've just come from being an extra on the History Channel. And um, and then just started talking about how he's a fucking um, sushi chef. The whole thing. He's like, yeah, like, I'm an extra on this. And he was like, full on, like, <laughs> army kitted down in a fucking, just in the middle of a theater. He'd been was... sat in that seven hours, yeah. hasn't he? You know he had. He had a morning shoot and he just kept it on. You would, though. You look sick. Have you ever yeah. have you ever met a YouTuber before you were a YouTuber? Yes. No. No. How was that for you? Oh. Uh, I met Tom for about Tom Syndicate for about like literally three seconds, and uh, it was um, one of the most nerve wracking three seconds of my life because you sit in the queue. I was like the last person in the queue with my mate. We weren't even going to really go. Um, we just walk around insomnia and then just like we had nothing else to do we'd done everything because you could do everything really in like four days so we were just like all right what we got left and he was always he's got the busiest meet and greet normally that i've ever seen so i was like oh let's swing around so we swung around and just like sitting in that queue for as long as it is like you just overthink everything which is why i understand how it must be for people who come to our meet and greets Mm because like I just guess I just got to sew my own head about it. I say Tom's probably that's the uh, really the only time because then the next time I went to an insomnia, which was the next time I did something, uh, I would have been doing my own meet and greet, which is fucking crazy. Just in a free events gap, yeah, it would have been that. That one was fucking terrifying. I know you've met a few people because we were, we were talking about Reeve at the pub, weren't we, the other day? Yeah, because I I saw Reeve in a uh, in Roxy ages ago when I was in first year of uni, and I remember abandoning my friends because I was like, wow, there's this separate life that is like... I love Royce to Glory. Yeah, no, well, <laughs> no, it was just friends. Like, it was just, it, no, it was just like, for me, it was like, I'd moved to London and I was like, oh, fuck, like, YouTubers live here. The people I've watched for ages and I'd never really... I mean, I'd met Tomska before and we had a bit of a weird interaction at Comic-Con. Like, I, again, it's that thing where you you're like... Comic-Con? Yes. I nearly went to Comic-Con, did, did, James. Did there's nothing wrong about that, mate. No, I didn't cosplay. James, there's nothing wrong about that. That's very defensive for someone who didn't cosplay. Okay, what else am I going to say here? Come on, man. I didn't cosplay. We're getting a bit bit edgy about that. I'll get up the photos, man. If you were to cosplay, James, what would you cosplay us? You know, um... You know Asterix? (laughs) You know that costume I've got in the cupboard? Yeah, so I'm just like... uh, You know Asterix? Who? He's like that little little comic character, the Viking. Oh, okay. I'll go as Obelisk. He's, He's like... Big fat mate, I think that'd be really funny. I I just go as a Jedi. Easy, mate. That is like the. the I'd be Fiat a little droid. Hey, R two D C three P A, and I just go as George Mimulus. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I had a bit of a weird interaction with Tomska where I, it's that thing where you're like you're queuing up and you're trying to think like what the fuck do I say? So I prepared three things in the queue and then I I said all three of them really quickly and he just didn't, he, <laughs> oh, he no. just seemed he just seemed like really like. All right. Oh, no. And then I and then I and then I did. So yeah, that was weird. What were these things you said to him? Pie flavor. Um, How big's your cock? Oh uh, uh, God, I can't remember. I I I remember I got in there that I was like, oh, I'd love to do YouTube, like probably at some point, something like. He was doing this huge thing against like porn on YouTube at the time, and I was like, oh, it's good that you're like standing up for that because it's kind of like the platform's a bit that. fucked at the moment. Oh, was he, wasn't he kicking off at, um, did he kick off at KSI or something once? Yeah, he did. Uh, being yeah, like, you're right. being too edgy or whatever. Yeah. It wasn't around that time because I wouldn't right, have said like, one. yeah, up that. It was, it was to do with like, you could find porn on YouTube by searching it and it was kind of like a bit fucked. Uh, so he was, a, he was like may, being like a real mm. public figure against that, I think, or, so, or something along those lines. And then there was something else. He did a video with Lacey Green, I think, from what I remember, didn't he, James? Yeah, he I think something have. along those lines. I don't really remember too much. To be honest, I just wanted something to say and I was like, oh, that's something that I've thought mm. recently. I'll say that. Because you go up and you're like, you're, you're, I think mm. the way in my head, I was like, I want this not to be like, just for me. I want him to feel like he's had like a good conversation, but it's like, it's like 10 seconds. You say it all. They kind of just don't even really hear you. They're like, oh, did you buy anything? I'll sign it if you want. And then it, and then it moves on, which is mm. a shame because you can- Do you make sure that you- don't do that now because of that. Yeah, that was like, not fair. Yeah, so that's good on the on the other hand. When when we were at Insomnia, there was someone who didn't who didn't manage to get in line in time, or I think the line got cut off. And the right opinion was like, "Oh, this person's been waiting for ages," and they're like outside crying. And I went outside and had a conversation with them for like fifteen minutes because I was like, "I'm I'm not fucking doing anything." And that was kind of like my mental resolution. Like I I I 
had this moment where I met a YouTuber and was like, well, that was shit. Like I only saw them for 10 seconds. And then in my head, I'd come back to it and I, I was on the other end and I was like, fuck it, let's just have a conversation. Clearly it, it su- needs to. It sucks because <gasps> you get so much in trouble. You get in a lot of trouble if you uh, actually do that a lot of the time. Hmm. Fucking talking about um, weird, uh, bemusing fan things. That fucking stick poke e-boys tattoo. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, no. I sent you that. Someone stick poked a, a massive... Have you seen this? Yeah, have you, I've have you, I sent it to the group can we chat. Play it? Can we play it? I don't have I'll, it. I feel bad. It is the lot. It's like someone's hand poked a tattoo on their leg, like here, and it's, and it's like that long. And it's, it's not like even the, the new logo, it's the old logo. Yeah, we used it for about three weeks. I mean, we appreciate the de- dedication, but give your head a fucking wobble. I feel bad, like, um, speaking like bad on it because they've it's dedicated shite. to that. They've dedicated that. They've dedicated to that. They dedicated their whole leg to that stupid toe. It's like uh, their whole thigh. Did you not hear everybody's reaction when it got brought up? I think everybody collectively went, Oh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, we can't be mean. I (laughs) can't. Yeah, we don't do that shit. I think you should have. A real real subscriber would have done the latest logo. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, if you're really about it, put it across your forehead. Yeah. Please don't. Or on your cock. <sighs> right, cut that. Cut. That. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, man. Please, fuck it out. I wanted to talk about something this week. Well, I, I think my editor, Cynic Stacks, is more upset about this than anyone. But um, the Minecraft server, e- eBoys SMP, Fraser's been using a hacked client on it. To do what? To hack. He's been flying around, and he's probably been using X-ray, and he's been cheating. This is he's why he wasn't us. allowed in the E-Boys. Exactly, <laughs> because of stuff like that's not playing fair. It's disgraceful from him. I can't, he's, and the thing is, we are trying to take him to trial. So we decided we're trying Minecraft. to take him to trial. Yes, he goes to trial. Well, okay, can I just be honest here? This whole trial thing, nothing to do with me. Right, continue. Mm. We're taking him to trial, right? He has tried to blow up the courtroom. We've not let the man in the group channel and you're trying to make the man face a trial because he's cheating at Minecraft. It is disgraceful. You know? <laughs> I... This is why the as, internet hates I, <laughs> I, as a cheat on this server, had to pay my price. So why can't he? Why does he get away with it? Why don't you just ban him? No, I'm not banned. No, ban him. Yeah, but then that would be an abuse of my power and I will not be doing that. No, it won't. He's cheating, Alex. What do you mean an abuse of your power? There's you're a taking you to fucking court. And you've court. set yourself as the king. What do you mean the abuse of your power? I mean, that's, that's over here nor there. Can I, can I ask, Will and George, why did you stop playing the realm? Because you guys take it very, very seriously now and I feel No, I don't. <laughs> it? No, I don't. I, <laughs> I, really enjoy, I really enjoy building my tower. It's taken me so long. I don't take it seriously. I th- I've been there, like, we were just fucking around for, like, the first, like, two days, and I- then I'm logging, like, three days later, and you've built, like, a fucking castle, and I'm like... It is a bit mental, isn't it, George? Get a job, man, get a job. I have a job. I just burned down my house. I just burned down my house in Minecraft. It's, uh, it's all gone to nothing. I've moved into the village. Also, you know, okay, I understand you guys may be currently on Fraser's side, but I've got some information that will completely change your view. He took down... The Zach de Jellob's house, block by block. Oh, not Zach. And that is, in my opinion, where the real line was drawn. Yeah. And on his, on his dial-up internet, that's going to take him ages to put a rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> poor Zach, poor Zach. <laughs> What's this clip of you and Lewis's, Lewis Buchan's bed? <laughs> <laughs> um, we thought it would be funny to pretend to go live and like all he just said, we're just gonna go live for like five minutes. We just pretend that we had no idea, and then he was just gonna say, "Shout, I'm Alex's baby," and then it was just gonna end. And I don't, it was his idea, and I had nothing else on. Well, pretend that you didn't know you were alive. Yeah, basically, like a Will and E video. Yeah, no one's. I don't think anyone's ever done that before. No. no. Did you? Was your acting better in this one or? <laughs> the other no, one? I was on. I was on his bed wearing. <laughs> Do you remember when you got up? You got up and I was like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, hate I, hate that, I hate that video because I just it was it was too nerve wracking. No, I'll never act him. Something I clearly can't do. Um, yeah, basically, the issue was we we were, he was just pretending to be like um like we accidentally went live basically, 
But he comes... I, I didn't agree to this, by the way, because if he had told me he was going to do this in advance, I would have just said no. But yeah, he comes sure. onto the bed, and he grabs my feet, and he starts kissing them. I was wearing my shoes at the time, which makes it even stranger. <laughs> so, I'm wearing my shoes. At this moment, Bambino Becky walks in. Now, we didn't notice that Becky walked in, but Becky had no idea of this previous plan to be live. She thought she just walked in on that. So she went downstairs and told everybody that Lewis Buckham was upstairs kissing my feet and that she had accidentally walked in on the shock and horror. Obviously, it was a big prank. What I think has happened here is they went upstairs so Lewis could kiss Alex's feet. They've seen Becky come in and they've gone, fucking quickly go live and let's pretend this is all a big meme. (laughs) No, because we were already live when she walked in. So that's horrible. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling. That's for a it. horrible. It's a horrible thing to say. And there's video. It. And as I said, and there's video evidence. So, if you believe that, you could take me to court in the Minecraft court, and we can ash it out there. <laughs> I don't think the Minecraft the Minecraft court is flying. To be honest, I think that's very much hell. mudded. The Minecraft court doesn't seem to be going very well. Have you actually built a courtroom? Yeah. Uh, well, Cynic, Cynic did. George has got a point about this taking it too seriously. Cynic did, and then Fraser blew it up off stream. Apparently, <laughs> you lot take this too seriously. I mean, I'm not involved in this. I just built a castle, bro. Mate, this is nothing to do with me as well. I am simply fucking around on there. I've built two houses and burned them down for a laugh. Um, yeah, see, I'm fucking around, but just in a kind of five-story mansion that took me three days to complete kind of way. Yeah, your your house is fucking mental. Alex, also yeah. you just deleting the realm? Um, I would have nothing to stream, so that'd be a terrible, terrible idea. And it is fun. Like, it's not actually taken seriously. It was only, like, when Fraser was flying around in a boat, that was pretty funny. You know? He looked up in the sky, he's flying around in a boat. That was hilarious. It was when he decided that he was just going to start killing people with hacks on. That's when it got a bit too far. Because then nobody can do anything at that point. There's no joke there. You can't just go around killing people with hacks on. That is cheating. And the Minecraft court will rule <laughs> You're it. You're so angry. The that Minecraft is court, cheating. And the that Minecraft is not allowed on my it. realm. And the Minecraft court will rule that against the Seven Kingdoms. And I, it's, it's disgraceful. George M has got a new uh, video incoming. He's going to do a hacked client and fucking fuck with our stuff, I reckon. I thought that was really brave of you to name the channel after your real name, George McFadden. But well in, mate. <laughs> You've done a great job yeah. there. No, it means George Massive Cock. <laughs> well, where's the C? Oh, well, if it was George MC, then it would have been a Minecraft channel. Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to get confused, people. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted people to know. You could do George MP. George what? MP. What does MP stand for? Massive pussy. Yeah, but then people will think I'm a member of parliament. They won't think <laughs> massive penis. <laughs> oh, massive penis. He's flipped it on you there. Uh, oh, man. He can think, he can think whatever, he wa- whatever he wants, you know. I- I'll know what it really stands for. I truly re- respect it. Uh, okay. So, so who hates Extinction Rebellion and why they made that a topic? I don't... Oh, I fucking hate them. Yeah, I- I'll be honest. Mine. There's not there's not really much this much to them. I was, uh, I was on the way back from... Uh, video in like central this week i was in an uber and fucking we pull up to the junction and it's like there was loads of roads blocked off and i don't think it was for that we'll pull up the junction and this fucking dickhead cyclist geography teacher looking bloke wasn't like a policeman who's like stop there stop there and the the light had gone green and these fucking scruffy cunts come and like fill out the middle of the road so we couldn't go through because they're their fucking uh, protests and shit. So angrily, I thought, right, okay, I'll note this down. And I got my notes up. I had my notes up and was like, podcast topics, fuck extinction rebellion. That'll tell them. I just think they're yeah, cunts. but fuck extinction rebellion. They're fucking morons. What are they? They're like it's like the fucking uh, planet people. What like um, humans? Yeah, they want people to stop destroying the planet. But like to like ridiculous. Like, they'll stop. Like they, they're the people that uh, like stuck that uh, super glued themselves to trains They've even though they ele- ran on electric like decent amount of disposable income but fuck all time like fuck all to do with it i hate right. them they're just fucking they're all just cyclists to be fair you're not wrong cyclists in central london have a fucking death wish like, i was in the car the other day and there was one just like dead in the middle of a, like an a road just like cycling as slow as fucking possible 
than each cyclists other. Cyclists are Maybe just cunts. Just tired. Maybe by nature, just tired. cyclists are cunts. I don't know if I agree with that. They are. They are. Rowan got robbed yeah. by three people on cyclists at football. No, oh, but yeah, that did happen this week. Rowan got fucking jumped. If you are from London, be fucking careful. Don't have your phones out on the streets because it just you, you can get people who just like drive by and just fucking grab shit out of your hand and fuck off with it. Why are you laughing, Will? <laughs> I'm trying to give some so sincere funny. advice. Give some tips. Oh, shortage. We're at the pub and our, our mate gets jumped and Will and he laughs. Horrible. <laughs> no, we didn't get fucking jumped. He did. He hit, they hit it, him. The policemen can't chase people on bikes because it's too dangerous. No, so if someone grabs else. your phone on a bike and you can't catch them, say goodbye to whatever you had. Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell, man. You ain't getting that back. Yeah, really, really uh, crazy. They literally hit him around the head and then took his phone out of his hand mm. and then cycled past us. And we had no idea what was going on until we turned up. Well, they're cyclists or like, um, like cyclists. Mopeds. See? Cunts. Oh, uh, yeah. Cy- cyclists by nature are all cunts. Just different kinds. Because There's they ride ones around just... on two wheels. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're, Some of them are just cycle really slow in front of cars to piss you off. And then I others don't have, think, I don't others have the fucking do that. GoPro on their helmet and just record you for no fucking reason. And then you've got the ones that steal your phones. They're all cunts. So you're saying any, they're all cunts anyone, the they're all dickheads. Any, anyone who, who rides something with two wheels is a cunt, is what you're saying. Yeah. Including Motorcyclists are all right. On wheelchairs. <laughs> wheelchairs have four wheels. I mean, if you watch my last video, you would think with all that. <laughs> no, they don't. What, what wheelchairs are on four wheels, mate? They're not riding a train. I'm going to send you a picture of a wheelchair right now, Alex. How would a wheelchair work with two wheels? Are you, have you lost your mind, George? Wait, 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 wait. How would a wheelchair work with two wheels? Hang on. No, he's, he is right here, by the I way. I am yeah. right. Look, I'm going to share oh, my screen. All of them have four fucking wheels. Oh, wait, the little small ones Look, that count. They're not really wheels. All of them. No, even the ones with the big wheel. They've got a little wheel, like two little wheels on the front. Nah. No, that's disgraceful. Just two big wheels. Those don't count. They've got four wheels. That's that doesn't count as a wheel, I'm afraid. Otherwise, you'd have to like wheel them around like you got like you know the heelys with the one wheel. <laughs> you mate, mate, like, you'd, you'd, have, you're, to, you're, you're you'd have to balance. So you'd have to much. heelie them. <laughs> you'd you're have put, fucking sick abs though. Yeah, you would. You would, wouldn't you? I, I look, I grew out of stabilizers at an early age, so unnecessary. You're in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> no. Huh. I was on a bike, which makes me a cunt. So. Maybe it is accurate. When you said you really fucking hate Ex- Extinction Rebellion, I thought they were a band, so I put something musical on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I've never heard of Extinction Rebellion. I bet they're like some hard rock unit up north. Like, everyone's like, yeah, Extinction Rebellion. Hard rock yeah, yeah, unit yeah. up north. <laughs> You're <Will>. 45. <laughs> well, actually, 45 years old. <laughs> Ooh. Bumping oh, Extinction Rebellion like loud in the hallway so people know I'm hard, you know. So what great music topic do we have there? Uh, I saw uh, Sam Tompkins this week. I, I he's good. He's good. Have you brought him up before? What's what's your thing with this guy? I've never brought him up before. Has he been a topic before? No, no, no he's good. He's, he's got good songs. No, he's sick. I'm a big fan of him. And uh, I I followed him after um after I, I listened to one of his songs. I, I, what was it called? I think it was called Charlie. And then I listened to another one called Stand 10 Feet Away From Me. And I was like, okay, this guy's this guy's really good. I followed him. Pr- he followed that. back. And he goes, I love the E-Boys. Really? Oh, fuck off, Sam. Fuck off, yeah. Sam, you try hard. Oh, that's elite. He's, uh, he, well, he didn't, say, he didn't say I love the E-Boys. He went, oh, yeah, I've seen a couple of the E-Boys videos. Which means oh. he loves the E-Boys. Because if he's seen more than one, then he's at least seen one good one. I oh, don't follow me back. Well, well he might have seen... Um, which ones might you have seen? We, we've only missed once, and I know what the video is. That's the one we would have seen, wouldn't he? No, we missed a few times, right? We've had a couple uh, po- a couple stinkers. To people at home, podcast listeners, do you want us to do an E-Boys video, E-Boys videos tier list? Oh, that, ooh, that, ooh, we could oh, do that. Can we not? Oh, yeah, let's gonna... do that one. Let's do that. Next oh, episode. That's going to be yeah, yeah. so personally, surely. So let's go. Let's come to the next next week's podcast with our tier list of um of E-Boys sure. videos. Could we, yo, could we do it live and argue about it? Yeah, yeah, I think right. that'd be good. That'll be a really good. That'll be a really good episode, I think. I really don't know how I feel about that. Why? Why not? I feel like if somebody, if you suddenly make a correlation that some of one person's contributions will seem to be in the bottom half, and it's not going to go very well. See, yeah, I was, I was mudded until Bake Off, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys want to do this. Yourself. Which, which ones have been yours, James? 
Uh, <laughs> so right. we'll forget about the Jackbox one. That was an outlier. Well, yeah, but that was mine. That was unlucky as well, to be fair. Um, was you... It's Alex so... that don't miss. No, I'm very lucky that I just... Like, you guys only give me the idea. That so way, you, had, just... you had, for, for context, you had first green screen, you had 10 versus a £1,000 takeaway, right? Yeah, but a lot of them are ideas that you guys come up with and I just Yeah, yeah, change. but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not saying you've masterminded yeah. them, I'm just saying, like, you don't, you don't miss. You don't have to be like, ooh, humble act. It's no, gone. no, I know, I just, I don't want to, because if I Ex- go, oh yeah, well, my week's all great, and then in that way, like, you never come up with any of those. Were you art challenge or not? Was that Yes, James? that was me. Arch, right. Art, art, well, art week was, how did we come up with art week again? Um, I mean Lawrence. That was James. That was a genius stroke from him. Getting Lawrence. Yeah, no, that was my call. That one. That was that was what made, I think that's one of the things that made that video. And then you yeah. also with the interview bit. People love that interview bit, and we should definitely do that mm. more. It's something that people ask us to do more of is the interview bits. Well, should we leave? Should we leave this discussion for next yes, week? Yes. Yeah. Good show. Good show because good I show, think yeah. we've got we're going to get on to like, actually rating them, and I think we should save that for next week. Yeah. So it's maybe a home, good place to leave this then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A cliffhanger until next sure. week. We shall leave this discussion. Until next Wednesday. If you are listening at home, if you want to go and make the tier list, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe um... <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Tell us which one of us makes the shit that comes up with the shittest e boys ideas. Yeah, and we do all that. If we if we get the tier list, we can just we can just do it that way. Mm. And um, have a lot of fun next week if you listen to it audio only. We'll try and use as many descriptive words as we possibly can to explain what's going on. Yeah, no, I, I, I think they'll get it. They'll get the gist of it. We can always read it out towards the end as well. It'll be easy, actually. I'm just taking a piss. Yeah, thank right. you for listening to today's podcast. Uh, make friends. sure to go and take a listen over on Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah, podcasts, whatever you want. You do whatever you want, mate. They've just sat through 40 minutes of it, though. Yeah, but, but just follow put it, it follow in the it, follow it. Give it, follow yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just re- follow just it, put it board. on in the background, you know, listen to it a few times. Go stream it. All right. Put it back on again. Listen to this episode four times then. And also, check out the Highlights channel. Yeah. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.